Timothy Trespass, Targeted Individual. Hi, everybody. Uh, it is uh, 3.40 on Saturday, uh, December 5th. And the man who we once rented this room from, Segundo, the one who terrorized us and threatened us and turned off the power and called the police on us and had his wife file a false assault report and all the other stuff, who keeps coming back here to harass us, is here again to harass us. I don't know what he wants. He's just sort of standing there. I, you know, it's really insane, these people, they just keep, keep screwing with us, you know? Bad enough they turn off the power, they turn off the heat, we have no access to water or toilet, <clears throat> but we're not paying rent. This is just insane, man, you know? Why can't this guy just leave us alone, just move on with his freaking life and leave us alone? It frightens me because I know that he's such a... God, what happened to my face? That he's such a vindictive, satanic, not a nice person. Something happened to his mind, and he's turned evil. God, my face is like bent today. What the fuck happened to me? Um, anyway... <laughs> Just thought I'd mention that, that this guy who won't leave us alone is back again to not leave us alone. You know, it's like, uh, they're all part of some team and they're all working together to, to get us out of here. Do you know, we had a room that we were going to take. We had enough money to pay for it. The people were nice. The setup was right. It was the right size. And we told them we'd come back in the morning. We had to figure out how much money we have. And Petra was on the way back. Because they were terrifying her all night with the V2K. I mean, for weeks, you know. Throw them in jail. Arrest them. We're going to kill them. Blah, 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 blah. Say hello to Jesus for me. And the guy's name that we were going to rent the place was, from, was named Jesus. So obviously they were harassing her. And she was all afraid. We were all afraid. We didn't know what to do. So we said... You know, she she told him, I have a room to go to, they're demanding money, they're screaming and yelling. She actually gave him $200 and put it in his hand, and he gave it back to her, demanding more, so she walked away. Kept the money, obviously, smart girl, wouldn't have given it to him in the first place. But, um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, and she was on her way to go to this room, and these people waylaid her in the, the hallway. The super came and claimed that the landlord was here, so, of course, we're going to talk to them, but it wasn't the landlord. It was this guy, Segundo. So, you know, all the screaming and yelling and everything, and by the time Patriot got in touch with the people that had the room for us, somebody else had rented it. Surprise. So, you know, these people have, like, screwed us so many ways and so many times. You'd think we would be running for the hills, but... We don't have the money to run for the hills, and we're trying to make up some of the money that they caused us to lose so we could actually move, because <laughs> we can't afford to do it now. This is so insane, man. You know, all I want is a place to be so I can die in peace. You know? Really. Again, <clears throat> there's so many complicated issues in my life right now that I can't just walk away, even though I would love to. Uh, we're trying to resolve those issues, medical issues and court issues and, and other things. Please keep praying for us as we pray for those who are targeted and suffering as well. Thank you for the donations and the kind words. And uh, God bless you all.